Tomorrow, your commute may look a little different as school begins in our area all across the area. So here with some back to school safety reminders for drivers, students and families is Dr. Ashley Stevens from Cabell County Schools. Great to see you. Good to see you. I can't believe we're already talking about back to school, but it is here. It is here. And we will see buses and families taking their, their students to school. So what as drivers sharing the road should we be aware of and know? Just know that it's coming. That's what okay. I'm most important things is that, you, that you're aware that things are changing. Um, give yourself some time and leave early for the next little yeah. bit. Everybody will find their groove and this will become very smooth in a week or two, but in the interim, um, give yourself a little bit of extra time. Most of our you know traffic frustrations are alleviated mm -hmm. when we're not running late. Right. Remind us of the laws regarding school buses when we are behind them or passing them. Absolutely. So when it's yellow, you slow down, and when it's red, both lanes stop. So I think it's easy for us to understand if we're behind a bus that we're gonna stop. Okay. Um, but when it's red and the arm is out with the stop sign, both lanes need to stop because kids may be crossing both lanes of traffic to get on or to right. get off the bus. Um, so it's very, very important to be uh, cautious and aware of that. Um, don't drive around, don't try to speed mm -hmm. up to get ahead of, um, just sit sit tight, you know, take a right. moment um, and, and allow everybody to move around safely with buses and also with pickups. So if you see, you know, a line of families, there's going to be kids and right. they may be little, they may be big, they may be distracted. And so as, um, as motorists, as drivers, we need to be aware uh, that that's happening. Yeah, be extra aware of your surroundings right now. And on that line, how can families help keep their kids safe getting to and from school? Statistically, the bus is the safest way um, to be transported okay. uh, to and from school. So if you're on the and you can't decide like do I want to do that you know right. parent drop off line or is the bus the right choice um, give the bus a try because it is what it is the safest option that we have um, if they are gonna ride the bus make sure you talk to them about safety when they're not on it um, once they get on we're good to go but as they're right. waiting they need to be alert they need to be aware they need to be paying attention to the people and the things around them um, we just talked to drivers about watching out for them but our right. kids need to be watching as well um, so this means you know not being crouched down not necessarily wearing dark clothing or having having your hoods up or earbuds in, be able to look uh, at the oncoming traffic so that if you need to make a move um, or get somebody's attention, you're able to do that. That's a great, great uh, way to think of it too, because we typically only think of the drivers, but the students also have to be aware of their surroundings. Absolutely, and as our kids get older, they're likely to be you know, waiting at bus stops more independently. Yeah. Um, and so having those reminders of like, this is not the time to completely veg out, you know, right. hide out, right. fall asleep on the side of the road waiting for your bus. We need to be active participants in this, we need to be paying attention um, and keeping ourselves and our friends safe as well. Yeah, okay, with all this extra traffic starting tomorrow, what are some of the windows of when the roads are going to be the busiest? Think about the kind of six to eight uh, window in the morning mm -hmm. and from about 2.30 to 4, it usually doesn't take that long, um, but in the evening. So we're going to miss the 9 to 5, which is great. We're, okay. we're ahead on either side of that window, um, but from about 6 to 8 in the morning and about 2.30 2 to 4 in the evening. Right, so if you have appointments or places you're needing to go, like you said, make sure you leave early so Absolutely. you're not racing and feeling impatient waiting on these school buses and families doing carpooling and all that going on. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Dr. Stevens, thanks so much for all these great reminders and happy school year. Thank you to you guys too. <laughs>